Welcome to our new episode of NDI in 2 Minutes, a show where we talk about the latest developments in the world of NDI, notable installs of NDI in the region, and real-world applications of NDI technology, all in less than 2 minutes. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Timer starts now. As in case you haven't heard, it has recently been announced that Microsoft Teams now allows you to broadcast audio and video via NDI technology. This is awesome news because Microsoft Teams now gives you access to video streams which you can incorporate into your live production. You just need to contact your Office 365 admin and request him to turn on the NDI out setting on your Teams application. And voila! Your team streams are flowing freely over your local network through NDI, which means any NDI decoders or even your TriCaster can actually use that as a source to be used in your live production. Think about the new possibilities for your video production workflows. Once NDI technology is turned on, the following streams will be available. A stream of whoever is actively talking from all the incoming streams. Number two, the audio and video that's being sent to the meeting from your computer. Number three, each individual user that is in the meeting. Number four, any incoming screen share. And finally, NDI streams of both the large gallery and together mode. This just goes to show that NDI is being embraced by more and more organizations and is a strong indication that the future of video production is NDI. That's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tune in again next week for another episode of NDI in 2 Minutes. Whew. Ciao!